What if I say that you can read anybody's mind within no time? Okay, let's create a scenario. Imagine that you are proposing someone in relationship with you or you are just selling your product to a customer or you're trying to express your idea to an investor or you are having the conversation with your colleagues. No matter what they say, the trick mentioned in this book, what everybody is saying by John Navarro helps you to understand that what's going in other person's mind. Either he or she is honest with you or not. Research shows that the 65% of our communication is the non-verbal. So in today's video, let us uncover how to spot fake body language and an honest body language. And I promise you this video will be the most important video you have ever watched. And if I begin to talking about body language, so this conversation will go forever. So I decided to go with the four basic body language which you normally see everywhere around you. So the body gesture number one, feet and leg. You have noticed that when you feel good, your walking style is different. But when you feel sad, your walking style is a bit different. Happy feet is a high confidence body language, which tells us that the person feels he is getting what he wants. Let's take an example. When a person feels good, at that time, he has a little bouncy walk or his shoulder will be vibrating or moving up and down. But before you come to the conclusion, you must understand the context. For example, if someone is humble and having a bouncy walk, it's easy to say that he or she is happy and it may be true. But if he is having a bouncy walk and going for an interview and breathing deeply and heavily, that means he is nervous. The second one in this category is feet direction. When one foot points turn away during conversation, that signals that a person has to leave precisely at that direction. Usually, we are not interested in anything, either situation or a person. Then our feet will be an opposite or in different direction. For example, if that person while talking not keeping their feet direction towards you, that signals that he has no interest in talking to you. The second body gesture is torso. And the first one in this category is torso C. You may have noticed that whenever a child gets scared of anything, they immediately hide themselves behind their mom or anything. But when you grow up and face same kind of situation, you start hiding your torso. For example, by crossing our hands or by keeping books or bags in front of their torso. The second one in this category is fronting. Whenever we don't like any topic, situation or a relationship, we just change our torso from it. Hence, if you want to show someone that you are interested in talking to them, then you keep your torso and leg direction towards them. The third one in this category is weak shoulder. When someone starts bringing his shoulder near to his ears while hiding his neck, then this signals that he is uncomfortable and becoming nervous. The third body gesture is hand. The first one in this category is gravity arm movement. When people are truly energetic and happy, their arm motion defeat gravity shows a positive feeling. The second one in this category is restriction. It has been noticed that when a thief goes for robbery, they do very less body movement, which means they move their hand very less and walk silently. Similarly, many people who are underconfident, shy and inferior, even they keep their body restricted. The third one in this category is arm akimbo. Arm akimbo is a powerful territorial display, which is used to establish a dominance. The fourth one in this category is hooding effect. The interlace hand behind the head are interactive of comfort and dominance. Hooding effect means it makes us feel larger than life. It tells us that I'm a boss, I'm in charge here. The fifth one in this category is handshake. It's the first and possibly the only physical contact we have with other person. If someone is shaking hand with you and keeping his hands slightly sloppy so that his hands remain slightly up, by doing this, he is subconsciously showing dominancy. And if person shakes his hand little sloppy towards downward, then by doing this, he is subconsciously showing that he is submissive and may be feeling weaker than you. It's always be good to do an equal handshake. Means both hands should be straight, 
which shows that equality and respect. The fourth body gesture is non-verbal of face. The first one in this category is puberty constriction and squinting. When we feel surprised and when we meet someone suddenly, we enlarge our eyes and we smile if we like that person. But if we don't like that person, we make our eyes small after enlarging it. We squint our eyes which gives a negative feeling signal. Whereas up eyebrow gives the signal of positive feeling. The second one in this category is eye blocking. When a person don't want to face any negative situation, then he or she will shift their eyes. Let's understand this with an example. Eye blocking with hands is an effective way of saying I don't like what I just saw or heard. The third one in this category is eye blinking. When person suddenly start blinking their eyes too fast, then he or she may be struggling to say something or struggling to accept something. That's the video for today. If you enjoy this video, so make sure to give us a thumbs up and make sure to share it with your friends and also keep this thing in mind to follow us on Instagram. I have lot of content regarding body language in my mind, but I want it from you guys. So feel free to give a suggestion in comment box.